Hello everyone. There is an interesting story of a family of turtles. The family went on a picnic. It took them seven years to prepare for the outing. The family left home, searching for a suitable place. During the second year of their journey, they found a place. For about six months, they worked at clearing the area, unpacking the picnic basket and completing the arrangement. They then discovered, however, that they had forgotten the salt. A picnic without salt would be a disaster, they all agreed. After a lengthy discussion, the youngest turtle was chosen to retrieve the salt from home. Although he was the fastest of the slow-moving turtles, the little turtle whined, cried and wobbled in his shell. He agreed to go only on one condition, that no one would eat until he returned. The family consented and the little turtle left. Three years passed and the little turtle had not returned. Five years, six years. Then in the seventh year of his absence, the eldest turtle could no longer contain his hunger. He announced that he was going to eat and began to unwrap a sandwich. At that point, the little turtle popped out from behind a tree shouting, See, I knew that you would not wait. Now I am not going to get the soul. Someone else should go. Seven years of anger, selfishness, pretension, suspicion, distrust, worry and anxiety for the turtles. Many of us perhaps are living like these turtles and are consequently frustrated by the lack of peace. True peace comes only from God and it comes with awareness, acceptance, detachment, surrender, sacrifice, compassion, healing, forgiveness, trust and faith in God. Today's Gospel is a part of a farewell discourse given by Jesus to his disciples after his Last Supper with them. They had been with Jesus as he preached to people, forgave sinners and performed miracles. Now he had gathered them to prepare them for his death. When they heard Jesus say that he was going away, they became anxious and greatly distressed. Jesus, knowing their worry and fear, comforted them with his greeting and farewell gift of peace. The peace of Jesus Christ is for all. He said, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. In his message, Jesus clearly defines the kind of peace he gives us. He says, not as the world gives. We know how the world tries to bring about peace. It is through law and order, power and force, possessions and wealth. For the world, the absence of conflict, tension, trouble and suffering is peace. But God brings us peace by coming to us, by loving us and by abiding in us. It is through humility and surrender, healing and forgiveness, compassion and love that we can feel the peace of Christ. The presence of the Divine with us is peace. To have this peace, He gives us the Holy Spirit to teach us guide us and counsel us. 
the spirit and peace become one reality. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is peace. Even in the midst of pain, suffering, poverty, hardships, conflicts and loss, God's peace can be obtained. In today's first reading, we read how with the guidance of the Holy Spirit, the disciples were able to address the dissensions and disputes and bring peace to the early Christian community. The apostles and the elders of the church encouraged the community to avoid discord and conflicts over small and trivial matters and instead to be concerned with the things which will enrich their faith and bring unity and peace. Jesus says that God's peace is given only to those who love him and keep his words. Certainly all of us want peace. We want peace in our homes, peace in our relationships, peace in our communities and peace in the world. But do we try to find peace through the teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ? Or do we get frustrated and disappointed with his demands of sacrifice for the sake of God's peace? Jesus says, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and will come to him and make a dwelling with him. In other words, as said in the book of Job, chapter 22, in verse 21, when we make peace with him, we are reconciled to him. All our peace and happiness will be restored to us and it will remain with us forever. When we conform to his ways in our words, thoughts and actions, and when we are faithful to him, we will experience peace. Friends, what is troubling you today? Is it your health? finances, family, friends, or the lack of friends, marriage, work, or unemployment, or sin. Whatever the circumstance you are in today, the words of Jesus are a great comfort to us. He has given us his Holy Spirit to help us in our efforts. We do not have to fear anything. Whenever we find ourselves in the dark or in the storms of life, He offers a peace which conquers our fears and anxieties. With our love for the Lord and trust in His promise, let us surrender ourselves to Him. Let us pray. Father, we thank You for the Holy Spirit who guides us and calms our fears. May no circumstance, trouble or anxiety rob us of the peace which surpasses all understanding. May we always reside in your peace by believing your word and by doing your will. Amen. God bless you.